ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Hal Linden. Thank you. And good evening. I'm bad for a cop, huh? And I owe a lot to that cop. Sing hail to the situation comedy. Hail to the weekly series on TV. Sing hallelujah, who knows where I'd be if it were not for the situation. Each weekly plot for the situation. I owe a lot to the situation comedy. You will never know how happy I am to be here. You know, when we were planning this special, I knew exactly who my guests just had to be. Honest, honest truth. I wanted three old buddies from my New York days. And when they agreed, when they said yes, I knew we were going to have one very special special. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Linda Lavin. Comedy. Hail to the situation comedy. Hail to the weekly series on TV. Hail to the weekly series singer. Hallelujah. Who knows where we'd be if it were not for the situation? That prime time slot for the situation. Thank God you're hot for the situation comedy. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Bonnie Franklin. Sanity in the insane world of soap, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Catherine Damon. You can call a skipper. I tell you, I don't know where I'd be. Me either. Well, nobody knows that. Of course not. But I can sure tell you where I've been. Me too. Me too. Also me. And how we got to the situation That prime time slot for the situation And why we're hot for the situation Linden Special with Hal's guests, Catherine Damon, Bonnie Franklin, and Linda Lavin. Brought to you by Kentucky Fried Chicken, where good fresh chicken is cooked with a Colonel's secret recipe of 11 herbs and spices. It's nice to feel so good about a meal. Hey, what's everyone doing? We're making Kentucky Fried Chicken. Every day we start with fresh grade A chicken. Then I, I mean we, cook up the Colonel's secret recipe. Uh-huh. And what does that do? That's what makes it finger licking good. You really seem to like what you're doing. It's nice serving people good food. But how do your customers feel? Well, see for yourself. It's so nice, nice to feel. So good about a meal. So good about Kentucky Fried Chicken. Clean makeup is healthy and fresh, and that's the look that I like. We're talking to CoverGirl Cheryl Teagues about the makeup she uses. CoverGirl, it's the look that's good to my skin. The best thing about CoverGirl makeup for me is uh, the texture. It's not too heavy and it's not too light. Noxzema makes it, so I trust it. CoverGirl Clean Makeup by Noxzema. It's clean makeup, and I love it. You know, this business is really crazy. 
You work and you starve for years to get there, and when you do, you know what you become? An overnight success. <laughs> well, it was one hell of a night. Enough. Carol, just 15 minutes more. I got better. It was the only way to go. <laughs> and like every kid who played an instrument, I wanted to have a band of my own. So we, we chipped in for jackets, we even bought bandstands. Harold? Yeah, yeah, Ma? Who's Hal Linden? Oh, uh... <laughs> Ma, Ma I, I needed a name you could remember. You never forgot your name before. Ma. It's, it's all right. It's just that when someone asks me, how's your son, Hal Linden, Mrs. Lipschitz, I'll know who they're talking about. <laughs> You've told your father? Uh, Pa? Pa, I, I, I hope you'll take it in the right spirit if, if I change my name. And I hope you'll take it in the right spirit if I don't change mine. <laughs> Hal Linden and his orchestra. Jackets, stands, six pieces. That is, if one of the pieces didn't have midterms or the grip. We even had cards printed up. A uh, card? Wait a hold it, hold it. Mr. D'Angelo, these cards you printed up, they're spelled wrong. No, they're not. What are you telling me? They're spelled L-Y-N-D-O-N. So? So I spell it L-I-N-D-E-N. Go on, your father's name isn't even spelled L-I-N-D-E-N. <laughs> well, I, I, I can't use these. Neither can I. I want these spelled right. For another $15, you can spell it Roosevelt for all I care. So, uh, for the next three years, I was Hal Linden, L-Y-N-D-O-N. You can't imagine how long 500 business cards can last. Then I switched to the saxophone. You know why? Because girls thought the saxophone was sexy. me on dates, I probably would have done better. <laughs> During the summer months, we, we played at Catskill Mountain Resorts. Hey, Lindemann, you there, Mr. Band Leader. Lin uh, yes, Mr. Einhorn? How about something peppy? Pay a little more attention to the music and a little less to the girls. Mr. Einhorn, I'm a musician. No, no, you got that wrong. Heifetz is a musician. You're a saxophone player. Catskill Mountains. Wonderful training ground for future rejection. <laughs> then I played with my first big band. See, with the big bands, the more instruments you played, the more you got paid. So in addition to the tenor sax and the clarinet, I also played the alto sax, five dollars more a week, three seventy-five for the baritone sax, two and a half for the bass clarinet, two bucks for the flute, a buck and a half for the maracas. That's seventy-five cents a piece. <laughs> then I found out what the band singer got paid. Night would shine if you would come to me soon. Until you will, how still my heart.
the music business has no security. Maybe you should think about trying something else. Something to fall back on. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, my, I, I, uh, I was thinking of trying something else. What? A dentist? An accountant? A teacher? An actor? <laughs> Ma? Ma? I got a letter from your brother today. Ma! <laughs> There used to be more of us in the International Ladies Garment Workers Union, but a lot of our jobs have disappeared. A lot of the clothes Americans are buying for women and kids are imports. They're being made... An overnight success to get a job in show business. No, that's the second step. The first step is something called auditioning. There are three great trials in an actor's life. Birth, death, and auditioning. <laughs> Make that two great trials. Death and auditioning are exactly the same thing. <laughs> when you audition, you pull out all the stops. Yes, you is my woman now. Thank you. Those are the two words that kill. In show business, thank you means goodbye. <laughs> Lemon or milk? Uh -huh, yes. Now, how about using the props this time? That might help. Oh, okay, sure. Oh. Ready? Uh, yes. Hi. 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 Okay. Uh, um, Linda Lavin. Do you want to know something about me? No, we have it on your resume. Oh, right. Um, okay, uh, you're the top. You're the top. The part calls for a blonde, you know. Thank you. Bye. 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 Five, step forward. You two in the back. Thank you. <laughs> okay, one more time, girls. All right, miss. Franklin. Uh, yes, here we go again. Here's your cue. Oh, Stanley, for heaven's sake, let's stop arguing and have a cup of tea. Lemon or milk? No, <laughs> no. Try to make, this time, make believers of us. Believers? <laughs> <laughs> My funny Valentine. Actually, we're looking for someone with sex appeal. Thank you. <laughs> all right, all right. Number three, step forward. Oh, I'm sorry, it was, uh, I broke the heel on my shoe. I have another Thank hair you. dance. Uh, thank you, number three. Anytime. <laughs> oh, Stanley, for heaven's sake, let's stop arguing and have a cup of tea. <laughs> Lemon or milk? <laughs> Night and day. Go ahead. By cold porter. Yeah, I know. <laughs> mm. 
Night and day, thank you. What? Just saving you the trouble. <laughs> Aches the pain. Who needs rejection? I must be insane. Who needs this? I could always get married. My feet. Who needs this? Who needs this? I think I'm sexy and they think I'm nuts. I think I'm graceful. They think I'm a klutz. Who needs this? I could always get married. I could always get married. Thank you. I'll tell you what you can do with your lemon. Who needs this? Who needs this? I work my buns off. What good does it do? Buster, don't call me, and I won't call you. Who needs this? I could always get married. I could always get married. this I needed this that's who needed this I couldn't run off and get married I was already married listen I'll pay the butcher next week and uh, put off the milkman to the end of the month Franny you know I hate it when you have to do that it's only temporary Hal. temporary huh temporary can last as long as 500 business cards spelled L Y N D O N <laughs> and when things get tough and I mean six bucks in the bank tough You'll take anything you can get. <laughs> so I became the greatest yes man that show business has ever seen. <laughs> Hal Linden. Yes. <laughs> Do you sing? <clears throat> yes. Are you a bass? Yes. Are you a tenor? Yes. Are you a baritone? Yes. Do you sing opera? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Do you sing pop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have an E on the bottom? Yes. Do you have an A on the top? Yes. Al Linden. Yes. Do you move? Yes. Do you dance? Yes. You do a soft shoe? Yes. Can you tap? Yes. Do you do ballet? 
Yes. That's fine. Can you stay? Yes. <laughs> Al Linden. Yes. Are you? Yes. A character actor? Yes. A juvenile? Yes. Are you a leading man? Yes. If I give you something to improvise, yes. Do you think you can? Oh yes. <laughs> can you be an elephant? Yes. A tree? Yes. <laughs> a gorilla? Yes. Can you imitate me? How do you think I'm doing? <laughs> yes. 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 Can you play tragedy? Yes. Comedy. Yes. Farce. Yes. Can you do a Spanish accent? Si. German. Yeah, boy. Russian. Da. Japanese. Hey. French. Mais oui. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, can you laugh in Swedish? <laughs> Danish, too. <laughs> I see. Will you go out of town? Yes. Go on the road? Yes. Are you willing to stay for a year? Yes. Will you go on the bus? Yes. Pay your own fare? Yes. After the show, will you buy me a beer? Yeah. <laughs> You can't do? Yes. What's that? Say no. Okay, kids, let's go. Hey, slow down. Where are you headed? To the curls for dinner. Yeah, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Mom says if we're not going to eat at home, at least eat something good. What makes it good? They use only fresh grade egg chicken. Doris Day stars tomorrow at 3.30. On your way to becoming an overnight success, you get your first job. If you think auditions were bad. Mom? Hey, Mom, are you sitting down? <laughs> I got a job. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I got a job. A show. Well... No, Mom, it doesn't really have a name. Well, it's called an industrial. Let me see if I can explain it. It's a show where manufacturers introduce their new products to the distributors. <laughs> on Broadway. Well, no, Mom, it's not on Broadway, but it's a start. <laughs> oh, Mom, it's a start! Good morning, dealers! Alumashine, the name that brings you the greatest advances in roof flashing and drain spouts in 50 years. Alumashine, the name you can trust in roofing materials. Alumashine, the name with VSM, that's volume, sales, magic. Once upon a time in the USA, all the drain spouts used to rust away. There's something new in drain spouts new this year. What's new? Alumashine's here. And now, dealers, it's time for this year's Alumashine girl. And here she is, Miss Bonnie Franklin. <laughs> Drain spout dealers sing this song. Alumashine, Alumashine. Your customers will sing along when you sell the Alumashine way. It's television. It's a commercial. 
A hundred million people will see my face. Puff of fluff, fabric softener, take 32. Action. Gee, honey, this shirt sure is white. I'm so proud of her. I didn't do a thing. We have to thank Puff of fluff, fabric softener. Thanks, Thanks Puff of fluff. I'm not picking her up at all. Louder, Skipper. I'm getting a flare. Can she tilt the bottle? Not down up, Skipper. Okay, again. Puff of fluff, fabric softener, take 33. Action. Gee, honey, this shirt sure is white. I'm so proud of her. Oh, I didn't do a thing. We have to... Now, what's wrong with her hair? Okay, much more. Keep up that energy, kid. Puff of fluff, fabric softener, take 34. It's the bottle. Puff of fluff, fabric softener, take 34. Eight. Okay. Action. Gee, honey, this shirt sure is white. I'm so proud of her. I didn't do a thing. We have to thank Puff of fluff, fabric softener. Thanks, Thanks Puff, Puff of fluff. fluff. They both hit Puff a Fluff a little harder. Try it. <laughs> Puff a Fluff. I'm seeing too much of her face. Lift the bottle, Skipper. Higher. Uh oh, perfecto. Okay, come on, people, let's go. Puff a Fluff, Fabric Softener, take 35. Action. Gee, honey, this shirt sure is white. I'm so proud of her. I didn't do a thing. We have to thank Puff a Fluff. And she took the damn bottle. I'm getting a shadow. Come on, Skipper. You're going to have to move in, NH. I'm losing. Well, move in, NH, on your entrance, Hal. Okay, once more. Concentrate. Concentrate. Action. Gee, honey, this shirt sure is white. I'm so proud of her. I didn't do a thing. We have to thank Puff of Fluff Fabric Softener. Thanks, Thanks Puff, Puff of Fluff. Fluff. Perfect. Okay, let's roll it. Puff of Fluff Fabric Softener, <laughs> take 36. Action. Gee, honey, this shirt sure is white. I'm so proud of her. I didn't do a thing. We have to thank Puff of Fluff Fabric Softener. Thanks, Thanks Puff, Puff of Fluff. Fluff. Now, her skirt was hiking up wardrobe. The bottle. Tilt the bottle. It's too close now. He's not right. enjoying it. Enjoy it, Al. Your report deck is over. This is a 10 second commercial, not a 14. Move it, move it. Move Puff it. of Fluff, Fabric Softener, take 37. Action. Gee, honey, this shirt sure is white. I'm so proud of her. I didn't do a thing. We have to thank Puff of Fluff, Fabric Softener. Thanks, Thanks Fluff, Fluff, Fluff. Fluff. That's a buy. <laughs> Ma, I got a job singing. No, it's not on Broadway. It's off Broadway. No, it's not uh, in a theater. It's in a nightclub. <clears throat> Ma? Ma? No, Ma, all I'm doing is singing. Jeez. Thank you, thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Triplex New York Showplace for the Finest and Smart Entertainment is proud to present the debut of a brand new young singer. So let's really make her feel welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Linda Lavin. Here I go again, drums it slow again, all glow again, taking a chance. Mm -hmm. What? Hmm. I thought it was. Uh, this is not working. Because uh, you're not showing them who you are. Who are you? What are you feeling? Pain. Show it to them. to them. 
You were wonderful. Which one were you? Guess who? Uh-oh. Garlic. Garlic? That strong? Sorry, honey. You ought to get the signal. Get the signal? Signal mouthwash. It's made to fight strong mouth odors, even onions and garlic. Signal, a mouthwash so effective it fights strong mouth odors, even onions, even garlic. Clinical tests prove it. Your cleaner, fresher breath will prove it. Guess who? You got the signal. Signal fights strong mouth odors. This terrific looking guy has big news about energizing pantyhose. Energizing pantyhose are a mystery to me, but these... New no-nonsense super sheer comfort stride to massage and refresh tired legs. Yeah, I, I don't know how that massage stuff works. I just know that these are sheer and beautiful and sexy. That's the news. We bet you haven't seen it. <laughs> Changed my lonely life that lovely day. You know that wonderful old show business story where the, the star gets sick and the understudy is thrust into the part? There's a big smash, gets discovered immediately. It's a wonderful story. Would you like to hear what happened the first time I went on in place of the star? Ladies and gentlemen, oh, oh. at tonight's performance, the role of Jeffrey Moss will be played by Hal Linden. Hal oh. oh. Let's get out of here. Just the mention of my name had him in the aisles. <laughs> hey, look me over, let me in here. Fresh out of clover, mortgaged up to here. I was an understudy on Broadway for seven years. I understudied everybody and his brother, from Sidney Chaplin to Tom Bosley, from, from Robert Alder to, to Alan Alder. <laughs> Make that everybody and his father. <laughs> Arthur Hill, John Cullum, and they were never out. No. Well, almost never. On a clear day, on a clear day, you can see forever and ever and ever and ever more. I have a warm spot in my heart for, for that show. It was during clear day that my son Ian was born. No, Hal. That's when Nora was born. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Ian was born after wildcat clothes, that's right. No, and... that was Jennifer, Hal. Oh. Oh, well, anyway, I do remember it was during the out-of-town dress rehearsal of Bells Are Ringing that Amelia took her first steps. Remember what you... Oh, Hal. We weren't even married then. <laughs> oh, I don't mean bells. I mean, I mean, uh, subways of asleep. Anyway. Anyway, you hang in there long enough, sooner or later a role comes along. Or another kid. <laughs> no, Hal. For me, it was a role. The role of Maya Rothschild in a play titled, logically enough, The Rothschilds. It's the story of the founder of the famous European banking empire, more than that. It's the story of a family. A family in which, in which each member gains strength from the other. Harold, your grandfather's ready to take you for your clarinet lesson. You know, Franny says that I have a, I have a tendency of bringing my work home with me. That is, Whatever role I happen to be playing on the stage, I somehow seem to 
live out in real life. Hal, just because you're playing the part of an 87-year-old man, do you always have to go to bed as soon as you come home? Well, this was a role I could bring home with me. My Rothschild knew that to be a kind, loving parent was a noble aspiration. The Rothschilds is not about the acquisition of wealth. Maya's wealth was his children. Dad, my hamster died. You never fed him, Jenny, that's why. I did too. You did not. Ian, stay out of this. Enough, enough. Harold, 15 minutes more. Let the boy alone. He'll be a genius 15 minutes later. Let me share with you Maya's wish for his family. It is my wish. It is the wish of every father. reviews and my Tony and my wife and my kids and off we went to Hollywood and just like Bonnie and Skipper and Linda four Broadway stars Hal Linden a Broadway star I printed up cards for him when he was a kid of course he spelled his name different in those days four Broadway nights we all started in exactly the same place <laughs> at the bottom <laughs> So we hung in there and the fates smiled on us and here we are, overnight successes. Would you like to know how I really feel about it? Made the great 
It's about time At last time overpaid It's about time Now Yeah, Franny? Remember what I said What's that, honey? Just make sure you don't come off arrogant Arrogant? <laughs> It's about time It's about time It's about time for all of us What do you say, buddy? Lots of laughs It's about time Autographs It's about time My own house My own fancy car Dressing room where they've hung a star Honey, you paid your dues It's about time It's about time Linda! Come on My own makeup man It's about time I can do this. I have a friend in New York watching it. Courage, I I Skipper. Should I be humble? Well, I'm not. It's about time. Just give me every award you've got. It's about time. I know that when you're hot, you're hot. And we're hot. It's about time. new improved cling free with springtime fresh fragrance mm. and cling free has thousands of softness cells with special softeners to make your whole laundry soft mm. no static cling mm, everything smells springtime fresh and cling free is more convenient than the white sheet from the box and dryer get cling free with new springtime freshness it's softness made simple Where have you been? At the Colonel's, getting dinner for the family. Must be tough pleasing a big family like yours. Nah, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Folks like it tender and juicy, with 11 herbs and spices. So, original recipe. My brothers like it crisp. So, extra crispy. What about you? I'm flexible. I love them both. It's so nice, nice to feel so good about a meal. So good about Kentucky Fried Chicken. The Hal Linden Special. Brought to you by Kentucky Fried Chicken, where good fresh chicken is cooked with the Colonel's secret recipe of 11 herbs and spices. It's nice to feel so good about a meal. Well, that's our show. It's, It's about, about time. time. And now we've got to go.
David Hartman, Mom and Dad give the parents of the incredible Bee Gees tomorrow on Good Morning America. Tomorrow night is loaded with laughs on ABC as Mork and Angie face brand new problems. Mork could run down permanently if Mindy can't find his missing age machine. Then Angie asks for trouble when she convinces Brad to hire her sister as a nurse. And on Barney Miller, an X-rated dictionary has the 12th precinct blushing. Next, a new kid in Carter country claims Chief Roy as her father. Watch tomorrow night starting at 8 here on ABC. Tomorrow night. Hello, Dr. Wise. It's Doctor's Choice.